Hi, welcome to Cossack's Coffee Breaks, Cossack Server Admin. My name is Andy Ang, Product Specialist with Exactal. If you have never heard about Cossack before, Cossack is a digital estimating software with universal application ranging from hand-drawn sketches, PDFs, 2D and 3D CAD files, and BIM models. The function included on-screen measurement, live link workbooks, revisioning capability, and BIM data extraction. In last month's webinars, I covered Cost XL add-ins, which included connecting to Cost XL database, selecting the project, building, and revision, entering Cost XL data into the spreadsheet, inserting a Cost XL function, dragging and dropping data into the spreadsheet, using zones in Cost Excel add-in custom functions, show dimensions. To view this webinar, go to www.exactile.com backslash webinars. Cost X Server Admin as an introduction, it may run on the Cost X server or on a client PC with Cost X. This will automatically install on the Cost X server when Cossack server is installed. It also can be installed to any PC which connected to the same network for remote management. The live demo on Cossack server admin later, I will be covered starting Cossack server admin, using Cossack server admin, manage Cossack users, manage licenses, database maintenance, and Cossack settings. Now, I will demonstrate how to starting Cossack Server Admins. Cossack Server Admin can be found under the Start program and look for Exactal Cossack Server Admins. It also can be found in your C drive, Program Files, Exactals Cossack Server, Cossack Admin here. The easiest way you will be just double click on Cossack Server Admin icons in your desktop. Once Cossack Server Admin started, it will prompt for username and passwords as shown. You just require to insert the username as admin and password, it will be admin as well without capital letter. It's advisable to change the password for admin immediately after login. While this server, it will be the address for the Cossack server. It's also recommended to have two or more Cossack system administrator in case one forgets their password. Just click OK and you will come to Cossack server admins with the user properties. Username, it will display under the user column and the full name it will display under the full name column to add in the new user we just click insert button enter the username for the user in username field and this id of the user is a mandatory field limited to 20 characters so it cannot be modified after it's created well, for the codes, you can use employee name or initial, and this field is mandatory as well and limited to five characters. The passwords just insert according to the user, and this is to confirm the passwords. In the full name field, enter the name of the user. Within Cossex, this name is displayed on messages advising that records are locked by the user. To set the permission required for the user. The first one, administrator. If you tick on this box, it will make this user as a Cossack system administrator. Next, add dimension groups. This is to allow to add new dimension group to a building. This it will be allow the user to rename building here rename dimension groups and rename drawing rename workbooks 
and next it will come to the delete project delete building delete workbook delete drawings and delete dimension groups here comes the report editing is to allow the user to insert and edit reports while the system admin access is allow the user to access system administrations to update rates and etc while next quantity on quantity is to allow user to access a second level drill down in a quantity sheet from the length column the single preference editing this is for a trade in the subcontractor workbook while the workbook protection is to set which cells in the workbook are protected and allow exports is allow the user to export the COSEX data lastly unlock estimates is to allow the user to unlock the estimate cells while next the edit user to edit existing user simply click on the user from the list and click the edit button and here come you can change all the permissions provided to the user over here besides you can click on the projects tabs to check on the projects allowed for this user access control to individual project is set in the project properties Next for the copy user, this function is useful if you would like to create another user with the same permission for this current user. We can just click the copy and change the username, code, password and the full name. All this permission, it will be exactly the same as the user before we copied. And the delete user is pretty straightforward. In order to delete this user, you can just click the delete user directly and you can just click yes and you will delete them. While the manage user, by clicking these buttons, you are able to see which user is logged on to the Cossex currently. So if you would like to log them off, you can just click the log off and this user will be logged off from Cossack server. The refresh button, simply just click the refresh to update the information in the manage users. Next button, it will be the broadcast. The broadcast is for you to deliver the message to all the users that are currently using Cossack. For example, you can insert the mes message such as Cossack will be updates in 30 minutes please save your works once i click ok this message will deliver to all the cossacks user currently log on to cossacks next we'll move on to the licenses tabs and when you click on here you are able to see the serial number that you have insert into this Cossack server to add a new license when you made the new purchase just click the insert button and key in the organization contact name and the products product serial number here and click activate the new license key will be added into the list while the edit buttons to edit the licenses and when you just click the edits the message will prompt you change of registered retail only permitted in case of genuine error during initial entry any other change of ownership is illegal and in contradiction of the license agreement changes were only permitted after they have been sent to and locked by the registration server do you wish to continue 
So you are not allowed to change the license detail after activation. The next, it will be deletes. If this license no longer usable or you would like to delete it from the current server, you just click the delete button. It will prompt you whether yes or no. While the renew license, when COSAX issued the updated version, you can just click the renew button here to renew the existing COSAX license to the latest version. Just for example, after the release of COSAX 7.0, you can just come over here and click the renew button to update this serial number to the latest versions. After manage to renew, it will show renew of license on this computer is successful. And next step, it will be database maintenance. Under the database maintenance, you can what you can do here is a backup, restore, compact, and properties. When you click on the backups, it will backup all the COSAX data from here. It's like considering manually backup your information. So it will take some time. It's based on the file that you have in your COSAX server. So you take some time to complete the backups and now backup finish. So any file that you backup, you can restore and they will need to prompt you to ensure all user log out from the COSAX. And if I click yes, you will just need to select the database to restore. For example, if I'm going to select this file, then just click OK to restore the database. Well, for the compact database, so over time, database size can grow due to new allocated space for new records. So delete of obsolete record doesn't automatically reduce the database file. So the good idea of this function is to compact database from time to time to free this space and improve performance. So we can click on this compact database to compact all the data within this COSAX server. And the properties button, when you click on this, you can change the backup hour from here. So you click the button here. You will notice that every single hour, you can change the time for the backup to perform. For example, if you would like to set the backup times after the working hour, for example, it's 9 p.m., you can just click over here. And the retain backups, when you click the drop down button, you, you can select whether to keep all schedule backup or one, two, three, four, six, seven, and maximum you can retain three, five, three, six, five, which means it's a one whole year. Backup path by default they will save under C, C drive, program data, exacta, Cossack server backups. Last, we'll go through Cossack settings. So with this, we can have a view on the working options. Measurement system here, by default, is under the metric system. You can change to Imperial from the Cossack server admins. This will apply to all the Cossack server project. While the server processing, when you click the drop down button, whether to disable or you can enable for supported operation here. Roundings, you can change from round up or round, which is to the nearest number. Drawing file names, normally we configure it on the client and you can also select always convert to UNC path or never convert to UNC path. As for the authentication logins, when we click on this tick, you able to check on the authentication login from the C drive, program file, exacta, Cossack server, and there's a shortcut to logs. 
with the information here the latest authentication logins you will be stated here when you open up this you should able to see for this month this states who is logging in to the Cossack server admin who is logging out for the external database access there's a password whether to change you can change the insert the password and to confirm the password command line backups as well you can insert the password from here the password blacklist so the check backlist you can insert the most commonly used passwords and set it under the blacklist so when you click change you can insert using text file <coughs> the password expiry if you click on the tick and you can select number of days for the password to expire lastly enforce for Cossacks API this option allows you to choose whether you wish to apply expire policy to the password used to connect to Cossack API. While well, the password complexity, when you click tick on here, this box, you will able to set minimum length, minimum uppercase, minimum lowercase, minimum digits, and minimum symbols. It's all by your own preference. Last is a cloud storage provider. Currently, we are supporting Amazon S3. You will click on this tick and configure. So you will need to have the access key ID, secret access key, and the region and the bucket list. Last, authenticate in order to connect to the Amazon S3. As the conclusion, Cossack administrator can manage user accounts and permissions using Cossack server admin. And it also can inserting, activating, and renewing licenses. Lastly, backup or restore database. Thank you for watching our webinars on Cossack server admin.